right, friends at home, sorry about that. When I use the screencast video, it only lets me do 15 minutes, and it cut us off there. So we're starting another video here. We left off. Lily was fixing her six for us, so she got that all cleaned up there. And I got my 10 frames set up here to get ready for the next problem. So Faith was telling us, what number are we starting with? Nine. So go ahead and put nine counters on your 10 frame. And Johnny, it's asking us to take some away. How many does it want us to take away? Eight. So go ahead, once you get your nine counters, pull eight of them away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Faith, when I got done pulling away eight, so nine take away eight, how many are left in my ten frame? Just one. So Faith, would you go up and put a one? Next to number eight for us, please. Thank you. Whoop. Yeah. You got to be real careful. If your hand touches the board, it's going to write with your hand. So only the marker can touch the board, okay? It's tricky. It's a smart board, but sometimes I don't think it's very smart. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now we are going to, I guess I need to expand here for a minute so I can scroll down on my page. There we go. Look at numbers 9, 10, 11, and 12. So looking at number 9, Blake, how many counters does number 9 tell me to start with? How many? Nine. So go ahead and put nine counters in your ten frame. And if you know that a full ten frame is ten, you know that if you're just missing one, it's nine. So if you just fill it up except for that last one, you'll know that there's nine in there. All right. And now, Camila, how many do they want us to take away? Five. So right now, go ahead and take away one, two, three. Three, four, five. And how many did that leave us with, Emily? Four. So, Emily, I don't know if you'll be able to reach, but you can try to write a four up there. It's pretty high up there, Em. See if you can reach to write a four up there. You might have to hold the marker and use the pointer to write the four. If you hold the marker in your hand and you use the pointer... The handy helper. No, no, no. Just hold the marker in your hand and just use the pointer now. It should write a number four. It will become the marker. See how that works? Perfect. Good job. I know it's so cool. All right. Let's look now at number 10. Who have I not called on yet today? Noah. Looking at... Don't get confused. We're not writing on the board yet. We're looking at number 10. Noah. Don't get confused. They flip-flop our um, equation, so our answer or our difference will go here. But we're still looking at a subtraction problem here. So what number, Noah, should we start with? Ten. So go ahead and fill up your ten frame. If it's full, I know it's ten. All right. And now, Noah, how many do they want us to take away? Four. So everybody, once you get your ten counters in your ten frame, pull away one, two, three, four. And how many does that leave us with, Noah? Six. So Noah, would you go up and put a six on the board next to number ten? And you may have to do what our friend Emily did where you hold the marker in one hand and write with the handy helper. Gonna write a six. There you go. So close. Here, let me try to help. Can I try to help? Oh no, let's get rid of that. Let's see if I can uh I don't know if I'm much help. Not really. <laughs> All right, try again. 
have a seat. We're almost ready for lunch. Oh, we'll call it a six. Here, do this. Ready? Right here on top of this counter, draw a six. Like, use the marker and draw a six. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. Now go have a seat, and I'll take your six, and I'll put it where it needs to be. Where'd it go? It won't let me put it up there. All right, friends at home, you're just going to have to pretend that that's a six because we're not going to spend too much more time on this. All right, make sure that your six in your book looks a little bit like a six than that six. All right, looking at number 11. How many am I starting with, Isaac? Nine. So go ahead, everybody, and put nine counters in your ten frame. Okay. And Isaac, how many did they want us to take away? Five. Oh, honey, don't listen to the answers your friends call out. Use your smart brain and look at the question. Nine, take away how many? Nine, take away, what is that number, honey? <laughs> I can't hear you. Nine, take away... Six. six. Thank you. So let's do that. Let's take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, Isaac, how many are left over? Three. So, Isaac, you can try to go up there and write a number three. I don't know if the board's going to cooperate, but make sure in your book, whether you're sitting here in the classroom or you're sitting home, make sure you put a number three on that line to show that nine take away six equals three. Fantastic. That looks good. All right. Looking at number 12. Do not. What? <laughs> Oh, got some, there was the six. Got some crazy camera tricking on today. Looking at number 12. Don't let it confuse you, Beckett. What number should we start with? Nine. So right now, put nine counters on your ten frame. Oh, let's get it together, Blake. Okay, we're still in school. It's okay to laugh and have fun, but we don't want to get too out of control. All right. I've got nine in mine. Do you have nine in yours? Yeah. Nine counters in the ten of frames. All right. Bucket, how many do they want us to take away? Seven. So right now, everybody take away one, two, three, four, five, six. And Beckett, what did that leave us with? Two. So go ahead, Beckett, if you can reach. <laughs> Come on up to the board and write in a number two. And in your book right now, friends at home and friends in the room, write a number two for 12. You might have to use the handy helper. I don't know. Oh, so close. Well, hey, it's a backwards two, but it works. It works. We'll take it. All right, so now, friends, if we go to the top of the next page, I'm going to make my screen bigger here now. I'll get rid of this. We'll clear that. We'll move me over here. All right. Um, so let's do this word problem first. So Sean has 10 pairs. So put 10 counters in your 10 frame. He's got 10 pairs. And then it says he gives some away. How many does it say he gives away, Faith? Nine. nine. So once you put your nine on there, let's see if I can... Uh, all right, once you get your 9 on there, take, I'm sorry, once you get your 10 on there, take away 9, and how many does that leave you with, Ava June? 
Just one. So he has one left. So our number sentence for that one, if we were writing our equation out, we would write, there's the six, we would write nine, I'm sorry, ten take away nine equals one. We could also write it this way, ten take away nine equals one. Both of those are true. And there is our precious little friend, Six. Everybody say bye, Six. Bye, bye. It was nice knowing you, buddy. All right. I want you on your own to go to the top of the next page, and I want to work through the subtraction problems. More practice, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then I want you to do on the back, 1, 2, 3, 4. Try to do 5. It's a word problem, but I think you can handle it. Don't worry about the right about it. But I want you to do those on your own. Use your 10 frame to help you. Okay? All right, friends at home. It's been an interesting math lesson today. We'll see you later. Bye.